Hey guys, Alfredo with Alfredo Sado Glass. Um, I've been asked on emails and texts and on my comments on YouTube about this Prius. It could be really difficult to remove the windshield uh, in, when it gets cold. Uh, it get, the molding gets very brutal and it's so hard to cut it out. Um, so this is my technique. I hope it helps you guys. Uh, I'm going to be using the ambush for uh, the bottom to make it fast and easy. And I'm going to use the Raptor uh, for the bottom, uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the two sides and the top. Um, this is one that I would recommend using wire. Um, like I said, especially when it gets really, really cold. When it's warm, you can use um, a fiber line, it's no problem. When it, but when it gets really cold, that's the problem. Uh, the, the glass breaks uh, really easy and then it, it rips your fiber line left and right. So let me get started. I already have uh, things prepped. And I want to have time to do a video for the clips today. I got this uh, kit clips uh, that I've been using for years and there's these new clip kits that came out that I want to talk about it and I already had it for over two months so um, I could talk about it now. So let me get started by doing this one here. You guys been asking me about my, my dash cover. Um, I have a special cutout on the bottom that allows me to uh, tuck it in all the way to the bottom. Like right here at this point, um, the ambush is touching the dash. If I wouldn't have the dash cover, I would have touched the uh, dash once, I would have scratched the dash already. I'm gonna explain how to use the Raptor, how to set it up in detail. If you don't have both the ambush and a uh, wire cutout or fiber line cutout. Um, you could use um, the tool to cut all the way around. Just be careful because there's like this um, uneven welds here on the pinch weld underneath, like so right there. You don't want to get your line caught underneath uh, your wire or the fiber line. You want it to go above those, um, the pinch weld from on that point. All right, so um, if you don't have this, you, you, you just have to roll, it's okay. Uh, I do have it, it came with my kit, so. Let me get started by setting out the tool. I wanna show you guys something really cool that Equalizer did for me. Alfredo's Auto Glass or Alfredo Calva, my name. So let's use the one with my name on it. And no, I'm not getting paid for doing videos or uh, for demonstrating the tools. I just like the tools, I like how they work, and I use them. So, all right, so if you do have this, you will place it in the middle right here. Um, make sure that this little thing is straight up. It locks better when it's straight up, looking up or down. Lock it in place. Make sure that it's loose enough, that it's not too tight, that way when you're undoing it, you want to bend this little end just a bit like that. Insert it. It will be the same thing in case you did not cut the bottom with the ambush. Just um, the only thing you did was uh, you're using the raptor all the way around. You would probably want to start over there or here. Don't matter. But okay, so I already have the tool. I'm gonna um, put this. I would say about three feet in 
three and a half, almost four. Um, so let's say I'm gonna position the tool, right? And I'm, I wanna cut from left to right. So I would put, I'm going to put the fiber line on top, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, wire right in the hole. And then I'm gonna think to myself, which way am I, I, do I want the tool to be turning? I want the tool to be turning towards the left, right? So how am I gonna put, how am I gonna determine which way this one goes? I just put it in the middle and I want it to turn to the left. So I start turning the tool to the left. And that's it, that's the guide that tells me that I'm setting up the tool correctly. So go ahead and place it on here. You want it to have at least three turns in the tool itself. As you can see, it's already on, so. Um, so now you're gonna grab, let me grab a bone or a stick. <clears throat> so you're gonna grab the wire. If you don't have a wire cutout tool, and it's really cold and you want to use a fiber line, uh, you would want to tuck it in under the molding. It is doable, but it's difficult. It's not as easy, but can, is it doable? Yes. If you take your time in it, yes. You could um, definitely use a fiber line. It just takes longer. So I bend that corner in. Now, coming along this other side, what I'm doing, I'm putting the bone right where I want it to bend. Bend it underneath. Make sure you, you pull. And if you are pulling, be careful because it will cut your fingers. So, you, right now you see me not using uh, pro glass protection, but if you are putting some force, and in it, please use uh, protection gloves, cut resistant gloves. <clears throat> so keep, keep time on your mind right now, how long this is taking me. Um, that way you know this is real time, not cutting or editing my video. So I'm not gonna put the suction cup there yet. I'm going to measure how much space I'm gonna need over here. So once again, tuck it in underneath. Cut right here. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this through here, through the bottom. Give it about two inches, bend it. Grab my pliers. Like so, just start turning. One, two, three, I give it about three to four turns. As you can see, the windows crack bad right there. So I'm going to put it down here. And just to secure it, I'm gonna put some tape. <clears throat> Little tape goes a long way. That way when it starts cutting, it, get, it stays tucked underneath the, um, the glass. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna use my two dash protectors. Uh, the rear view mirror, the rear view mirror are so fragile that you could break it. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> if you don't have this tool, which is probably the tool for the job, um, you could use a tack cooler. <clears throat> All right, come on the inside. Come on. <clears throat> so what you do, you put the um, the tool underneath, apply some pressure to it, and just slide it softly toward the top. And that released the clip, and I, I was able to remove the um, rear view mirror without breaking it. It breaks so easy from right here. Okay, so now I have my tack puller. 
<clears throat> there are the um, the two guy pins on the top. You have to release them. So what I do, I stick my tack puller, release the clip, and at the same time I'm pulling down on that gravity stop retainer. If you want to use a blade, like a spatula blade, you could do that too. If not, you could just use this tack puller. It works great. And I'm also bending down a little bit of that metal where that clip goes into. And it's very important for you to have, um, if you follow these steps, you don't compromise breaking the line, ripping the line, uh, the, the wire. All right, so let me start my cutout. You have two different dash covers. You have the one that is, has an angle to it. See, it, it's so tight that uh, when you're using fiber line, if the glass breaks, your fiber line's gone. And then you repeat the line and it will do the same thing again from the exact same spot. I like this little cover here. About to go in the corner the neat thing about this raptor that you could put on the frit see i'm putting the frit over the mirror putting it over the frit okay so tuck this in really well and keep your your wire all the way against the glass that way when you go through that pin it, it cuts right through no problem He's getting very close to the tool. So going to reposition the tool. Every tool is great, especially when you use it the way you're supposed to. It's getting a little uncomfortable for me, so let me go on the other side. Especially where, where that guide pin is, gravity stop is, that's where a lot of the times people break their fiber line. So at this, at this point, my fiber line, it's um, sliding, I'm sorry, not my fiber line, my wire is sliding on the bottom, so uh, the window could be dirty or whatever reason is. I could just hold it, just on that corner, it's gonna be doing that. So once I cut the corner, it's going to become, easier to make my cut. What I like about this is that you just hold this right here and it protects it very well. You just slide it down. So my section cup sliding again. Okay, so Equalizer recommends this technique. Let me show it to you. You can see how it's sliding on me, right? So, what I would probably do, I would um, get a, a different suction cup and put it in there. But what uh, Equalizer recommends you it's for you to put the um, for you to put the uh, wire back inside of the vehicle. So let me give it another try and see what it does.
there's definitely different techniques that you could do to finalize your cut. All right, so the smartest thing is to use gloves or just cut the fiber line out. Another tip, if I would have used, um, if I would have used uh, tape over the, the wire, that would have helped as well. So I'm pretty much done with the cut. I have about um, a couple of inches left there. You pull the wire to the inside of the car. If I use a cold knife or even my power cold knife, it does that throughout the glass and it makes a big mess. You see what a clean cut out it was using the, um, the ambush and the, and the wire cutting it out. So, as you can see, it was painless cutting it out and it was pretty quick. And you see a few parts. The glass started to break vacuum really quick and I thought about showing you my technique because this is one of the ones that are uh, quite difficult because the, uh, the A pillar cover is really high. So what I do, I just push on it, that release the clips, don't take it off completely, get a little um, towel, just clean around the back before you trim down, just save you all that dirt that accumulates under the molding. And then this clip right here, I hit on it a little bit, go with my VTB right behind it. And then I remove the clip by itself. So, all right, so let me turn my cut out. If at any point something gets on the way, I just push it down. You want to have the uh, VTB at an angle that just slides through the urethane. If you put it too too high, you start digging in into the paint. See like right here where that seam is. Make a little pause. These are such a great tools to prevent you from scratching the vehicle. Um, so to, to put it back I'm gonna clean this one more time with my finger. I don't wanna touch the, uh, the bonding area, but I wanna remove that excess dirt. Guide it, put it back, and that's it. Move on to the other side. So same thing. Push on a little bit, put the uh, BTV in an angle. before you do your trim. See how the urethane is right next to the pillar. If I cut um, the urethane out without removing it, I will definitely cut through the uh, plastic.
I know you guys tell me that I make it look so simple, but you know, I, I learned how to do it right from, from the very beginning when I started doing auto glass and it honestly just gets faster and you're providing a quality safe installation every time. So I'm going to start to apply my urethane through the passenger side. Um, so I'll put, I'll prep this side first. And these are little scuff marks, they're not even scratches. So, and you can see by protecting the uh, A-fillers with a plastic cover, it makes a big difference. Otherwise, you can scratch and cut it. And you really don't want that. This, um, I count my two minutes. Uh, for the uh, primer to dry. This is a very light windshield, so I'm not going to use a setting device to set the windshield in. I know it's nice and sunny, but still a little bit cold. time that I started applying the, um, the primer. When you're applying your glue, you want to make sure that you can see in the front and then on the back of the uh, gun. That way you have full control where you are applying the urethane. So once again, you want it clean. I put my nail through there. That way you have a really good seam overlap, about one eighth. And you see that seam is seamless. Control your speed, try not to go too fast. Wait a little bit for the urethane to squeeze out. Just like that. And this 
point you want to go towards the top on your zooms. Make sure there's no valleys in between them. Sounds really nice to see. Let me set this glass in. Once again, you want the, the weight on your forearm, your upper body, not your back. So keep your back straight. Make sure the suction cups are good. Now I'm going to aim the passenger side corner of my guy to my forearm. See how nice the molding looks. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, all my new subscribers and of course my, my faithful subscribers. I hope um, I'm going to bring more videos. I got my computers working again. It takes a long time to edit videos and um, just to make the video in, in, in general. So thanks for watching, Alfredo from Alfredo Santa Blast. See you till the next video pretty soon. As soon as I'm done putting this together, I want to talk about flips. All right.